everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Mirta and on my channel you can find everything you need to know about Taiwan. Today I invited my sister who recently turned 18 to try all these Taiwanese liquors. Welcome Yusmai! Thank you! <laughs> We're gonna get started right away because we have a lot to go through as you can see here. Today it ranges from very sweet drinks to just a good beer or very very strong alcohols <laughs> that you may not even see in other places of the world. Let's start off strong with our two bottles of Gaoliang. This right here are two of Taiwan's most famous liquors. Gaoliang is made from sorghum, which is a type of grain that you can find in Taiwan. And the world's strongest alcohol is also a bottle of Gaoliang, which is 92% of alcohol. Uh oh. <laughs> Today we're taking it relatively easy. I've got this alcohol from this island called Matsu. This one is a 58%. This bottle, probably less common but more famous, from Kinmen or Jimen, and this is 53%. So which one do you want to start with? Let's start with the 53. In true Taiwanese fashion, Ganbei. Ganbei. That is strong. <laughs> it is very strong. There's something it's herbal. It's kind of sweet. It's a little sweet. There's something herbal to it, but it makes your it makes you feel like your tongue shrinks. Yeah, it definitely makes yeah. It makes it's you crazy, feel like but it's like it's not gross. No, because a lot of times strong alcohol, I find it kind of gross. But I feel like it's like tasty for strong alcohol. For everyone at home, if you like strong drinks, but you don't want them to be just straight from the bottle. There are some great ways to make Gaoliang into a very refreshing drink when you mix it with either lemon or kumquat juice and with the type of tea. We definitely have to try that someday. We will definitely <laughs> make a video on Taiwanese cocktails that will be coming up soon too. Ooh. Now for comparison, this other bottle of Gaoliang, which is a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. but the flavor is very different. Ganbei. Spicier. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> hits you harder. <laughs> that almost had me coughing. <laughs> That's definitely spicy. <laughs> We're getting hot here already. Mm -hmm, definitely. It's more sour in a way. Yeah, it it's not as sweet as the last one. I think I liked the last one more. This one is definitely stronger. <laughs> yes, and it's a little bit... Well, it's kind of sweet, but in a weird way. Yeah, I think it's more spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Would you drink either of these when you just want to sit at home on the couch, relax? And I'm drink? definitely not a strong liquor person, so right. probably not. What would you rate both of these liquors out of 10? Okay, I would say this one I kind of liked. I would, I would give it a solid 8. Eight? Yeah. Jeez, that's that's pretty I high. I know. <laughs> and one? that one, I liked a bit less. I would say maybe a six. Now let's continue with something more relaxed. Yeah. Taiwan is not a huge beer country, but they have some famous beers, among which this brand, Taiwan beer, or in Taiwanese we like to say Taipei which is short for Taiwan Pijo, Taiwan beer. They have a variety of different beers, including their classic, mm -hmm. 18 days. Um, they just released another beer that's called Gold. Oh yeah, I've seen it around, yeah. Um, they're all slightly different. I don't know exactly what the difference is, so if you know, let me know. I think the flavor. Yeah, I think the flavor, the alcohol percentage. Yeah. What's special about Taiwan beer is that it's not just made with grains, mm -hmm. but there is also Formosa rice in it. Ooh. So homegrown Fancy. rice. Wow. Have that's you had definitely this? Taiwan? I have had it on the day. I the classic. Uh, I think I had the gold version. Okay. But I quite like the gold version. So. All right. It's very <laughs> very nice beginner's beer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. I would I would drink this on a not a daily basis, but <laughs> if I would pick a beer, I think this is the best one I've had so far. 
Yeah. It's, it's very chill. It's, it's very like, chill. It's almost as if you're not drinking alcohol. <laughs> it's like... Nice barbecue on the beach. Definitely, at the end of definitely. The day. Hot summer day. Hot summer Love day. That. So, what do you rate this out of 10? That one, I would say a 10. Honestly, it's very high, but so far, best beer I've had. Next up, we're gonna try something entirely different, something mm -hmm. like you've never had before. And I'm talking about two different things. But first, we're starting off with this. Uh huh, what's that? In Taiwanese or in Chinese, we call this Yao Jiu. Yao Jiu. Okay. Which is medicine. Alcohol. Oh, right. Okay. S medicinal spirits. Mm -hmm. So there are very many different kinds of this. Mm -hmm. Some of these contain um, antlers of deer. Ooh. <laughs> and also a lot of Chinese medicine. Uh -huh. This is believed to have healing properties. And um, it's just people drink it on a daily basis. Well, let's drink it then. <laughs> it smells really refreshing. Oh, it, it smells, smells like cucumber. It also smells a lot like Chinese medicine. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely when you walk into one of those small yeah, clinics. Yeah, for sure. With a like a throat infection or something, yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah. I need help, and it smells like this. Definitely. And you see all the big jars of like everything. I don't know <laughs> what. <laughs> yeah, I've seen turtle shells too and stuff. Turtle like, shells, sea of cucumber, things. bird's nest, everything. Yeah. Gambe. Gambe. Oh, that tastes exactly like Chinese medicine. <laughs> I don't like it. This <laughs> a thousand percent tastes like medicine. Yeah, um, it's also it stays on in your on your tongue. Like it's yeah. like I don't know. I don't really know how to describe the. Feeling. I already feel better now. I, uh, feel, I feel healthy. <laughs> it's so interesting to me that they make a liquor. Like alcohol yeah. is bad for you, but then there's medicinal alcohol. So is it supposed to cancel out the effects of alcohol, or I don't think how it does works. it work? I don't know. I mean, I'm it's a very interesting concept. That's for sure. I think it's very creative. So I think it also says strong. how you need to use it. Oh, it says every day, two or three times for wow. adults. I'm I'm impressed. I'm intrigued. Me too. Three times a day for That's an a adult? Lot. <laughs> How long are you supposed to use this? Is it really alcoholic? I think so, right? I mean, I've definitely seen yeah, no. something. Yeah. Seriously, it says 30%. Wow, that's a lot to drink so to per get day. Better? What? This is just like a medicine, like honestly a medicine. Yeah. With a, like prescription, instructions. <laughs> That is crazy. Okay, let's move on to something that tastes a little bit different and definitely doesn't have healing properties. Let's go to mm. Kavalan. Kavalan is probably Taiwan's most famous whiskey brand. For sure it is. Yeah. And in 2015, one of Kavalan's signature drinks or signature whiskeys won the prize for the world's best single malt scotch. Wow! Gambe. Oh, I do not like whiskey. <laughs> oh, I do love whiskey. It's strong. I haven't had whiskey in a long time. It's good. Okay, I don't like whiskey the moment it enters my mouth, but like the aftertaste is good. It's very, when you have it in your mouth for a little bit, it's very smooth smoky on your tongue. Also, It's a little bit smoky, but not very smoky. Mm. There's like that hint of vanilla and a little bit of a nutty flavor. Yeah, yeah, I can choose that. This is definitely more my, my up my alley. Yeah, than not mine. This is. <laughs> oh yeah, that oh, for sure. Oh, what did you rate this, by the way? I'd say four. <laughs> I'm not four? a fan. That's pretty high for something you don't like. Yeah, I think I think just the concept made it like a four. Just mm. the idea. Yeah. How about this one? Three. Three. Two. Two, three ish. You thought I'm this one not was big... worse than this one? Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of whiskey. Okay. So I'm... it's like this one, although it was really weird, I feel like it was semi okay to drink. Like it was not amazing, but I didn't like I expected the taste from it just based on the smell. Yeah. Seeing that you give this a three, let's move on to something that I think you will like. Okay, let's try. Um, this is Aboriginal millet wine. It's distilled with millet. Mm -hmm. 
very sweet, mm -hmm. but it's also used in Aboriginal rituals. Oh. So it's believed to ward off evil spirits, and it's also a part of some of the ceremonies. It's not very strong, it's 13%, it's like a wine. Oh. It smells like something, I just... I don't know what it is. Kind of smells like basement. <laughs> oh, that is good. This, when it's chilled, you could down a whole bottle of this, like, Wait. and not realize you're drinking. Because it's honestly, when it's this cold or you drink it mm. with like some ice in summer, this is the best imagine. drink. You can just drink the whole bottle and you're not, you, wow. you don't notice that you're drinking. No, I like that one. I give it a 10. 10 out of 10! <laughs> now we have this wine and this is used for cooking and drinking. Yeah. Now, I had never had this before, but our cousins came over this summer and my cousin was like, on the list of things you should try in Taiwan, there is this alcohol. <laughs> now, it is a more herbal alcohol again. Mm. It's not very strong. It's also 13% like the wine. But it's um, interesting. Let's just put it at that. Interesting. It's kind of savory, I think. Gambe. That is very weird. It's way different than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if you think so too, but I feel like it's kind of watery. Yeah. For me, the, after, the aftertaste tastes like chicken rice. All right, and last but not least, there are some specialty breweries in Taiwan. Yeah. One of the ones that's probably bigger, more famous is Taihu, mm -hmm. which is like a Taiwanese tiger in English. And um, they have a variety of beers. They also have very strong mixed drinks that you can buy at 7-Elevens and supermarkets. Ah, yeah. Like the big 9.9 cans, and... like the pomelo, yeah, everything. Yeah. But they also have their regular beers. Well, let's see. Uh-oh. <laughs> A regular Taihu beer. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That is not bad at all. To me, this is one of the better... Let me make sure which one I like more. I like this better. It's... Yeah, I like it better too. We are eight drinks in by now, and <laughs> fortunately we did not drink the whole bottles or even a whole glass, so we're not wasted or anything. <laughs> but just to summarize, what is the one thing you would absolutely not drink a can if you don't have to? Probably the whiskey or the galleon. This galleon. This one I, I would drink again. And your winner? My winner is definitely the rice wine, or yeah, it's rice wine, right? Yep. And the well, bears. Millet wine. Yeah. Millet wine. And the two bears. We should do like a cocktail night sometime. Yeah. <laughs> you know there's this bar in Taipei that serves cocktails based on different cities of Taiwan? Oh, really? If you want to see the PG version of this, you can look back <laughs> at this video where we tried different drinks from tea shops when my sister wasn't 18 yet. Cheers and enjoy your evening if you're watching this during the night. <laughs> and otherwise, have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button yes. to see more of me and to see more of her <laughs> when we're going to be trying Taiwanese cocktails. In the meantime, don't hesitate. Just scroll around on my page and maybe you'll find something that you like. Definitely. See you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye.